Hey, what's up, guys? This is TPC, aka the Power Cuber. I'm back, and today are my first impressions on the X Man Tornado from the Cubicle.us. So I don't really want to give a long drawn out explanation as to why I haven't been uploading because that's really boring, but basically just a lot of school and extracurriculars, not really the school work, but the extra stuff that I do with school. So for example, I have to practice five different sets of clarinet music, so that's, yeah. Anyway, I first want to give a huge thank you to the Cupo.us for sending this puzzle to me. They actually just randomly sent it to me for free uh, within another package that I had ordered, so that huge thank you to them, that was really kind of them. I was pleasantly surprised when I opened the package to find this. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to check out the Cubo.us, they have an awesome store. And while you're there, check out my Cuber profile. Yes, I have a Cuber profile. Uh, I actually got it a while ago, but I haven't made a video about it, so. On there, you'll find all my mains, you'll find what sticker shades I use, and you'll even find my WCA page, so if you want to go see how I did in competitions and that kind of thing, you can go check that out. There's a lot of information on there, huge thank you to them for letting uh, me have that opportunity. And it's just a really useful place for you guys if you want to find out more about me. So, yeah, be sure to check that out. The reason I actually don't have the first turns is because my camera decided to be a butt when I recorded the unboxing and record super grainy and terrible, so... I just could not give that footage to you guys, it was terrible quality. So, let's just do some turns and then I'll talk more about this cube. So, as you see, it is a pretty nice cube. Now, X-Man is apparently this new branch off of TE because branches on cube companies is all the rage these days. Started with Moyu, which is pretty much a branch off of YJ. Then they made Song's Design, and then they made Guoguan, and now there's this X-Man, which is a branch off of TE. Oh, goodness. But, just like uh, Guoguan, X-Man seems to have come onto the market with quite the bang. This is a really nice cube, just like the Guoguan USCL was for the Gorgon company. So the turning is smooth and very fast. It is a little bit bumpy and it's kind of sandy out of the box. But once you start turning quickly, it does smooth it out a bit. It has a little bit of a crunchy-ish feel. It's kind of like a non-broken in Yushin 3x3. The M slices are actually reminiscent of a Yushin for me because they're a little bit slow on the slower side. I wouldn't really recommend it to someone who uses a lot of M slice algs. Once you break in like a Yushin, the M slices are okay, but right now these M slices are not the greatest I've ever felt. Maybe I'm just being really picky, but the quarter cutting is incredible. It's actually just like the Gorgon USL. But Unlike the Gorgon USCO, what the heck are these Florian cuts? Oh my goodness, I can, I can pro I can stick an entire chopstick through that. Oh my god, I'm so Asian. And now with such giant Florian cuts, you might expect this puzzle to quarter twist a lot, but it actually does not. It requires quite a lot of force to twist a corner, so they did a really good job designing it that way. So with these uh, giant corner cutting holes, there have been no lockups, at least for me, unless it's my fault. Uh, it's a very fluid cube. Although again, I haven't broken it in yet, so we'll have to see how this puzzle changes with breaking it. So now we're just going to take a quick look into the mechanism. And we'll of course compare it to a thunderclap because that's T's most recent cube. So here are the edge pieces. On the right is the X-Man cube and on the left is the thunderclap. As you can see, they don't bear too many similarities. The tornado looks a lot more like a waylog type thing, while the thunderclap just has this really weird shape on the edge. And the corner of the tornado looks kind of like a slimmed down uh, thunderclap, just a little bit. Again, looks very waylog-esque. Now this cube does take some things from the U-shit 3x3, which is most prominently this little, little nub type thing, <laughs> nubs, uh, on the edge of the piece. It's a little bit bigger on the tornado, obviously, but the first time we see this little thing here is on the Yushin. But there's like no similarity between the tornado corner and the Yushin corner. I mean, they have the same shape, but every corner ever has the same shape, so. Anyway, this puzzle is looking pretty promising. Uh, I will definitely have to break it in and make a review. 
Speaking of reviews, I have to catch up on a lot of them because I haven't had any time to upload much. So I'll try to film some reviews, but there's no complete guarantees. Especially with my crazy schedule. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be soon.